Right, it was just over a month ago that the best coach in Navy football history almost walked away from the midshipmen. Tonight, Coach Ken Niamatololo is talking for the first time about why he came back to Annapolis and turned out that offer out in Arizona. He sat down one-on-one -on -one with ABC2 News' Sean Stepner at the Naval Academy today for an interview you'll only see here on ABC2. I am totally 100% sure at the United States Naval Academy. That's why Ken Niamatololo is back. In an exclusive one-on-one -on -one conversation, the winningest coach in Navy football history, explaining why after 10 seasons in Annapolis, he decided to return for an 11th, instead of leaving for the head coaching job at the University of Arizona. It was actually really enticing. You know, I was actually very pretty close to, you know, maybe taking a strong look at taking it. Um, but ultimately, things didn't work out on both sides. From the perspective of my career, everything points to take it and run. You know, Power 5 job, Pac-12. Both of my sons are in Utah. My daughter's in Hawaii. Financially, there are just some things on both sides that they questioned that, and I questioned, and I wasn't sure. And, and I'm sure here. Why would I take something or go somewhere where there's question marks on both sides? You know, what do you run on offense? What kind of support I'm going to have there? Nia Matalolo interviewed for the Wildcats gig a month ago. It's far from the first time he's had a chance to leave Navy. For the last, I would say, five to six years, there have been opportunities every year. And quite frankly, I mean, a lot of them are like, you know, I'm not interested. There was some interest on this side. Just like there was interest two years ago when he was courted by Brigham Young. After taking his name out of the running at BYU, he signed a five-plus year contract extension with Navy. He tells me he did not rework his contract this time around. It wasn't about that. You know, it wasn't about me going and, like, I'll come back to Navy if I get this. What it was about, he says, was feel. He feels right in Annapolis and feels right staying with his offensive coordinator and friend, Ivan Jasper, and the Jasper family. <laughs> Ivan's son, Jaron, underwent heart transplant surgery last week. My wife would, you know, you know should say stuff, honey, it's just the right time, you know what I mean? We, you know, the, you know Jaron could be getting his heart anytime soon, and um, it, it definitely was a factor. Ivan Jasper is in line for the mids head coaching job if Nia Montalolo ever does end up leaving. That's at least another year away. In Annapolis, Sean Stepner, ABC2 News.